Well, here we are again, I guess. So far in 2023, we've had a Wrestle Kingdom show where WWE's contracted talent, AEW contracted talent, and New Japan contracted talent, obviously, competed on the same show. Mercedes Monet, the former Sasha Banks, debuted in New Japan. That's crazy. Kenny Omega returned to New Japan, teamed with Kazuchika Okada. That's crazy. Mercedes Monet might be on her way to AEW. That's crazy. And on the fifth day of 2023, my true love gave to me Vince McMahon returning to WWE. So, for those of you who are unaware, last year, shortly before SummerSlam, Vince McMahon stepped down from WWE. Hella allegations against the man. Hush money scandals, Wall Street Journal exposed a bunch of stuff of uh, him using company money to cover up affairs and all sorts of things. It was a bad time. The board of directors did an investigation into Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon left the company's seat of power as CEO. However, he remained as majority shareholder and still had power in that regard. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal once more, that power is being used once again. Because, I'm going to get some quotes here. <sighs> 77-year-old sent a letter to WWE's board in late December detailing his desire to return to the company he ran for four decades to help spearhead a strategic review process. Mr. McMahon believes there is a narrow window to kick off a sales process because WWE's media rights, including for its flagship programs Raw and SmackDown, are, ab are about to be renegotiated, according to the people. So, this is saying that Vince wants to be back in his position of power uh, ahead of contract renegotiations for TV deals and ahead of a potential sale of the company. That is that is in writing. That is what they're saying. Mr. McMahon, who has majority voting power through his ownership of WWE's Class B stock, has told the company that he is electing himself and two former co-presidents and directors, Michelle Wilson and George Barrios, to the board, the people said. The move to reinstate Mr. McMahon, which the board previously rebuffed and the others, will require three current directors to vacate their positions. That is wild. The fact that Michelle Wilson and George Barrios, who left the company on not the greatest terms, and they were kind of replaced with Nick Khan. That's when Nick Khan came more into power in the company. That's when he was brought in as the president to replace Michelle Wilson and George Barrios. They had disagreements about the WWE network and how it was being run and the sell of it and how they should promote it. Oh, so much to dive into on that. Nick Khan was the guy who came in to replace those guys. Vince McMahon seemingly fell out with Michelle Wilson and George Barrios, which is why they were released from the company. And then Nick Khan was brought in to replace that void. And has had a huge impact on the company since he's come on board. But now Michelle Wilson and George Barrios are back. So it's the real old Vince era. Um, but then there's even more of this stuff later. So Vince McMahon is going to be re-electing himself to power in WWE. The board of directors have previously told Mr. McMahon that this is not what the shareholders would want. It is not in anybody's interest, except Vince's, to come back into power. Uh, they said that uh, the board responded last month to, uh, in a letter to Mr. McMahon that it was prepared to initiate a review process and would welcome working with him on it. However, it said it unanimously agreed that Mr. McMahon's return to the business wouldn't be in the shareholder's best interest, according to people familiar with the letters. The board also asked Mr. McMahon to confirm his commitment to repay expenses incurred by WWE related to an investigation of the allegations and requested that he agree not to return to the company during government probes of the matter. 
Mr. McMahon said in response that he remains willing to continue working to complete any reimbursement for reasonable expenses related to the investigation to the extent they aren't covered by insurance, but he declined to agree to not return to the company. Now this, this is the real kicker. He has communicated to the board that unless he has direct involvement as executive chairman from the outset of a strategic review, he won't support or approve any media rights deal or sale. In layman's terms, if he ain't in power when they do negotiations for stuff, he will not approve it. And he has voting power. He has the majority voting power. And now he's reinstated George Barrows and Michelle Wilson to make sure that he can have more people on his side and make sure they do things his way. He is holding his company ransom so that he, until unless he is the one running the show. That is insane. He is holding his own company to ransom. That's crazy. That's absolutely wild. I have no idea what to make of this. Um, from a fan perspective, what this changes about the week-to-week -week shows, I have no idea. I don't know if it's going to change that much in the immediate. Triple H is still going to be running things for now. There's no changes on that as of yet. But if Mr. McMahon, I, I believe this is pure. Now we're going from quotes from the Wall Street Journal. Now this is speculation from me. If Mr. McMahon is coming back to WWE in his position of power purely to renegotiate, potentially sell the company, that feels like the thing that he wants to do is sell WWE. He is coming back to power to get a ton more money from selling the company and then going again. The week to week, the Raws and the SmackDown creative, I don't know if it's going to be impacted that much. Maybe it will. Maybe he'll get into that seat of power, renegotiate a deal, and actually be like, oh, what? Triple H, can you actually piss off? I want to have my old job back, please. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, this is entirely unprecedented. This is absolutely buck wild. Vince McMahon retiring was arguably the biggest story of 2022. Up there, one and two with Brawl Out, for sure. And now on the fifth day of 2023, he's going to be reinstating himself. Boy, friggin' howdy. If, 2020, if 2022 was crazy for wrestling news, this is only the fifth day of 2023. I don't know what's coming the rest of the year. Would you like to see Vince McMahon back in power? Leave a comment down below. You'll be wrong if you say yes, but leave a comment down below. You're entitled to your opinion. You're also entitled to be wrong. Leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, subscribe. We don't normally have videos with me sitting at home. It's normally in a very nice studio. But hey, it's 10 p.m. I'm at home. Vince McMahon back in WWE. Vince McMahon back in WWE. He's holding his company. He said he won't approve a deal unless he's involved. I can't. I can't handle this man anymore. I can't handle this man anymore. He's going to make me lose my mind. Subscribe. Jam that jam, I guess. Stay tuned to WrestleTalk.com for more. There will be more. And stay tuned to the WrestleTalk news. We'll have an episode tomorrow as well. Goodbye.